my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. I'm here from wet and dreary Northern Virginia where April showers bring May flowers is in full force. <laughs> April is taking this a little bit too far. I think April, you need to like level up your game a little bit. We need to have just a, just a little break in all this wonderful rain. <laughs> Okay, a couple different things, and at the end will be a quilt parade, quilt parade of some of your blocks from the March block a day, the toffee bars. But first, it was Rainbow Day yesterday. I think that was yesterday, and I, um, I'm so I'm doing that today. Rainbow Day today. Here is a rainbow quilt that we did in 2020. Uh, uh, yeah. And I had always wanted to do a rainbow quilt. And so I'm just like so excited that I have this and it was so fun to use all those different fabrics. Plus I have two other rainbow quilts. One was also from 2020, which was in support of all the people in Italy who first uh, were hit so hard during COVID. And remember they were putting signs out, um, it'll be all right, Andre Tutte Bene it'll be all right. It'll be okay. Everything will be okay. Uh, so they were putting banners out their windows in support of each other. Uh, then I did a little one. I think that same year. I didn't mark on here what it was, but isn't that sweet? So today, if you have rainbow quilts, be sure to share them. I think it'll be so fun to see the different rainbow quilts. And you know, if you have used rainbow fabric in a project, that that counts, that counts. Okay, it was also, I think yesterday, walking day, uh, which I tried to walk, Greg and I, Mr. Greg and I try to walk every day that we can. Uh, right, kind of right after breakfast, we sort of do it in the morning and then we take a second walk and sometimes in the summer or the nice weather, spring, fall, I take a third walk sometimes. But uh, we can try to get it about three miles a day and we walk, well, when I walk with him, we walk very brisk. <laughs> We're like those people going, <laughs> I don't, not quite that bad, but it's close. <laughs> so if you are a walker, if you love to walk, it is my favorite, absolute favorite thing to do. Leave me a comment here at YouTube. Remember, just at YouTube uh, on these off topic, off quilting topic things. Okay, walking. It is also, and I have to, this is just cracks me up. It is burrito day. So I do love burritos, tacos, enchiladas, everything. I love fajitas guacamole, chips, <laughs> salsa, bring, bring it on, bring it on. That's, that's my love language. Bring it on. <laughs> that's my favorite thing. Um, but it's burrito day. And I have to show you something that just cracks me up. <laughs> there is a blanket that you can get that they make bunches of versions. They make a pizza version. They make this burrito version of a blanket. And I think it's probably just fleece. I'm like, so tempted to get one and so it's, it doesn't have like the texture but they you know printed things that look kind of like the burrito wrap and then you wrap yourself up in it which just cracks me up and so I have a link to it in case you want to get one <laughs> in the description box below because I think they're so funny they actually have baby versions small versions for 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 infants or toddlers so that you could wrap your your infant up like a a burrito. <laughs> I, just, I, I love fun things. I just totally love it. Novelty fun things. <laughs> and speaking of fun, uh, there is an exhibit at the DAR Museum, Daughters of American Revolution in Washington, D.C., right downtown, uh, called, what is it called? Oh, I forget. Oh, yes. Yeah, Sewn in America. And it has a wide variety of sewn items. It is on exhibit now through the end of this year, 2024. Um, and I have never been in the DAR myself. And so I am planning, I am planning. I will go down and see the exhibit. It has quilts, but it also has clothing and other things. And it has both vintage, very old, you know, more vintagey, and then new items. So it's doing a wide range of ages of items, which I think is pretty cool. So whenever I get down there, I will um, 
tell you about it. So, yeah, but they don't have, eventually during the year, they will have exhibit photos up. I gave you a link in the description box below so you can see what is there now. There are some photos, but they actually do, the Smithsonian does a much big, no, I'm sorry, it's the DAR will do a much bigger um, ex online thing later in the year. So I read that on their website. All right, so what, what do I have today on the docket? So it is, I started this at like, 10:30 in the morning this video uh, yesterday because I'm filming the day before I'm not I don't really like to film the day before anymore I did that so much and I really prefer to film like one or two days before but I got it just didn't work this time things came up I had to do and couldn't film so today's and tomorrow's are filming the day before but so on the on the calendar we had mercantile and so that is <laughs> that is the strips I've been working on, sewing these strips. So I thought, what am I going to do for today? I decided after I already did this. Okay, so first thing I already did is I got up and I did a project page for the spools quilt, the Orifil spools quilt. And that is, let me show you. Let me just um, swing the camera around. There, you can see it hanging on the wall. I'm holding the light down back there so you get a better view. But that, I did a project page. So you can go to I Love to Make Quilts to the prior um, projects, completed projects page, and it is on there. It was always on there, but it linked to something that wasn't as easy to find. So it's got its own page now, which I'm so excited. That was done in 2020. And I must've done that one before I broke my wrists. Um, because after I broke my wrists, <laughs> Yeah, all my friends had to make, do all my sewing for months and months. Uh, so I know that I, I sewed all of that one. So anyway, that's done. I'm loving it up there. I'm enjoying it so much having it here in the room. Uh, so I got that done. And then I wanted an update in my gallery uh, for for the 2024 for some of the finishes. Like I put up, uh, they're, they're not the best photos. I have to, I'll, when I get the quilts back, like the Quilted Witch, it was a photo. I didn't actually get a photo at of just the top so I will update it but it's there what you know it was a mock-up so it looks pretty much like what it ended up and the breakfast club those kind of things I put it over on the gallery page you can go see the gallery page um, and all the things that are in progress or will be coming up uh, or finished you know so it's generally generally what's there okay I have got what I'm gonna do is the mercantile border I'm going to do the mercantile border and then I think I'm going to put the binding on the horses. So I will show you the horses. I also got another older Orifil designer of the month block back. So I will show you that. And so I will work a bit and I'll just kind of give you little updates. And then somewhere late this afternoon, I will have to finish and upload the video and do all that stuff. So the first thing is putting this border on and I did not do the inner border yet. So let me go and get the mercantile quilt. Before we do that, I had a few beautiful cards. This is from Margot in Rhode Island. Look at that, look at the birds. So pretty, so pretty. You all are just so kind. You're, some of you have sent me notes about um, my surgery I had, uh, just so sweet. Gail in New York, look at these sweet cards. And I've got from Maryland in Oklahoma, who also sent me some Starbucks. So pretty, so pretty. I love your sweet notes that you send. Uh, and then I have got, I got another little present that came from a designer, a designer friend, new designer friend. And this is from Gina, I sent a card, but this is from Gina who, who designed this gorgeous pillow that I want to do. I want to do this one in Paradise Park. And it seems, which I wasn't paying a lot of attention when I ordered it. I just sort of like, okay, let me get that and pop it in here. But it, she has a template for doing these. So I will link you to all of this. But then she sent me her other patterns that do, that are similar, where you do these um, petals and things. So there's a different flower. Oh, that one's so pretty. That would make a cute, well, she got it like on a placemat or something. I don't know how big it ends up. I didn't read any of them. Um, there's a Christmassy one with the Santa. That's so darling, isn't it? So darling. And the tree, these are just so cute. Can you see using up scraps for these? 
here, here again, I don't know if they all use the same. I, of course, I should have read all this, but I did not. So uh, I don't know if they use all use the same template. There is a tree skirt. Holy cow. Isn't that gorgeous? I will link you to her. Oh, and then there's my atomic burst again. <laughs> it was there in the pile. She didn't send that. I bought that when I bought the petal. So I will, I will link you to um, Sewing Parts Online for the things there that, that you can get using my link because when you purchase there, I get a small commission from everything that you order. Plus, remember, at Sewing Parts Online, if you use Sloan Zone, you get a 10% discount. And it's, a, it's for all of, my, of, of us here at the Sloan Zone, every, every time you order for most things, not the big ticket items, not machines and stuff like that. But um, anyways, I'll link you there. And then I'll also link you to her website in case they don't carry all the patterns at the moment. They may not have those holiday ones. Okay, what I will do now, what I will do now is take this guy, the mercantile, and I'm going to take the black, the black plaid there. You know, it's on the stem here, this guy, the gingham, black gingham. I'm going to do the inner border, do the inner border, and then I will take these strips and I am going to have to cut more. So what time is that? Quarter of 11. So I will, this will take a little bit longer because I will not have enough. I think I have, an, I think I had enough from all of these, all of these, um, cutaways from the back of the circle. I think I had enough for at least all four sides. Well, there we go. So there's four. And then I did five and six. Okay. So I did six. I was able to get six strips. That means I, I will need two more. I didn't measure these. So some are too long. Some might be too short. So I have to adjust them. Uh, but that means I only need two, enough for two more strips. So it's like, Yes, and I got all of these sewn, so I need to trim them to intersperse them. So that is what I'm going to be working on, and I'll just give you a little status, and we'll see how much I get done today. So it's about two o'clock, and I had to take a break and make lunch, and I had to answer a bunch of emails and do some stuff on the Facebook group and the YouTube and whatever, whatever. So I got measuring i get a cut cut so measure got all four of the black gingham on here looks so good i went with cutting it two inches which means it'll finish to do the math two inches minus a quarter minus a quarter equals one and a half so it'll finish to one and a half which i think is a good weight i, I started thinking two a two inch finish was too weighty okay the other thing is i had to sew this section and then need to sew it up here because I'm going to take this off and put this on the wall because I want to see how these look. I want to place them and, and I need to see them up on the wall. So I've got my trusty, <laughs> not very cute at all ladder, but it is sturdy so I don't fall on my butt. So <laughs> let me take all this down and put, put this guy up press these and then we'll take a look with the other camera there you can get a feel for it i've got doubles on the three sides up to there so you know i need to make a little bit more length for four of them well actually all six of them need a little bit more length maybe one doesn't <laughs> and then two enough for two rows at the top and i do have the little um quarter square uh, you know, from the scraps, I do have some of those. And so let me just show you a couple of things that, you know, when I put these together, when I have, when I'll sew them, I don't want things like this, you know, where the same fabric is right next to each other. And on this side, I've got it here. Those are similar, but they'd be okay. But here, and then it's very similar. So since I'm going to shift it, basically what I would do would be to mess around, to shift it. And if I have to just cut it cut it so that I can insert something so they can separate some and I can get that figured out while it's on the design wall. Um, what I didn't do was measure. So what I'm going to do first, I think, is go ahead and make the rest of the strips, get everything kind of set up so that they're separated enough. Then I will take the center down, measure, I will do the top and bottom first and then sew on. And now you could sew two rows together and make it like one unit. 
Like right down here, I don't have that. But you know, it, you, because it's scrappy, you're not really going to tell. Here, I did right to the edge, and then right to the edge, and then this comes out to that edge and down. But if you wanted to, you could do it like this. Pretend that's all the way over. These two are sewn right to here, and then these two are sewn together right to there. So it'd be like putting on one border instead of two borders. Um, you know, so, so it depends on what look you want. And because it's scrappy, I think I'm going to go for the second one. I'm going to sew the two rows together. And then that way I'm just putting on four borders. And I think that will, that will be good. It gives me a little bit more control over shifting things like, like that. Okay, so now I have to work on creating the rest of that. I just have to cut some strips and make them a bit random. You know, some longer ones, some shorter ones. I'll measure what I had there and just kind of basically do it about the same. So in a couple of places, I will just take it apart. Like, like right here, I will just take this one apart and I'm going to insert this other one that I did because that shifts the colors away from each other a bit more and it makes it more balanced when I sew these, you know, side by side. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I'm going to do this and I will just insert this other piece right here like that. And then it'll shift, shift particularly this fabric away from the one in this row. I also want to mention that everything here plus a little bit more was all from the cutaway behind the circles. Every single bit of that border. I did not add anything yet. You know, you know I have to add to, to finish it out, but that is pretty dang good. I'm impressed. I didn't think I'd get that much. It is, that's amazing. So that did not go in the landfill. It did not go in the scrap bag. Only little tiny pieces were left. Well, I need to stop and get the video loaded for tomorrow. But what I'm doing is building the sides long enough, you know, so that I can trim them. And then I have to cut enough to go over here. And I am getting stuff cut, you know, I'm getting stuff cut. But it's going to take me longer. Than, and I need time to put the video together and, and upload it. So I will keep working on this afterwards. And then I'll show you progress tomorrow on that video. So to wrap up, let's do a little quilt parade of your uh, block a day, the toffee bars. Let's go. Becky starts us out with some cow prints. The black and whites in the center of every block are a cow print. And then the cow print fabric in the setting, accented with gorgeous daisies. <laughs> Beth has a study in solids in the center. That is so beautiful. Uh, she says she was inspired by sunlight returning to Alaska. So that's why she used the yellow in this one. Beautiful. I bet you are ready for sunlight in Alaska. <laughs> Brenda's, oh, so pretty. Blue and yellow, very classic. Carrie, our ambassador Carrie, and she has this gorgeous, beautiful soft colors. That border is a light blue. So pretty. Daphine, she has a black, red, and white, and it's finished. Polka dots, polka dots, polka dots. So cool. <laughs> and then a stripe. You know, you cannot go wrong with polka dots and a stripe. And then here is a close-up. Okay, so her backing has the, um, the red trucks. Super cute, super cute. Delia is gorgeous with a beautiful floral in the center of all her blocks. Uh, then that just um, very nice medallion on the background. And she's got that all evenly spaced. It's very... Dolores's is finished. She's got a gorgeous big paisley in the border. That is so fun. Love it. And it goes with the centers and the big polka dots. Love the polka dots. So many of you embraced your polka dots for this. Jennifer... <laughs> <laughs> She's got a big paisley as well, black, white with black polka dots, and she used a bunch of my Paradise Park. So, ah, oh, it all looks so good, the Paradise Park in yours. Love it. 
Here's a close-up of Kathy's. I just wanted you to see the sea fabric. So I, I did a screenshot, so that's why it's a little blurry. But yeah, look at the, the uh, ocean fabric, then the fish. So here it is all together. Isn't that spectacular? Love that coral color in there. It just really sets it off nicely. Linda's is so pretty. She has that feature fabric everywhere, and it turned out so pretty. Lori's is gorgeous in pink. Uh, and then look at her blocks. She didn't, she used a lot of different fabrics. So she didn't blend it so that it went and um, blended into her background. And that's a gorgeous soft pink. Mary Ellen did two, and this one is called Love Wine and Chocolate Bars. <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, hearts in the border and then her second one is with the uh, turquoise with the flowers and the pink that they just both look great and you did too I'm impressed uh, Nancy's is purple a study in purple and she used a couple different border fabrics which is so effective it looks really really good and that purple polka dot it's a small polka dot I love that Rayanne's, this was done for her grandson. Let me see if I kept a note. Her grandson's 13th birthday, and he loves computer games. Isn't that perfect? And what a great way to use those really fun fabrics that you want to use because somebody special is going to love it. This is a great pattern for it. Roxy's got some cave fabric, the great big cabbages. I'm in love with those cabbages. I bought a piece of cabbage fabric to do a pillow because I just love the print so much. More polka dots and the yellow is so good in this. Sharon's is gorgeous with a light blue. And then this is a different Sharon, another Sharon. And hers is also wonderful. She's got a black with white polka dots for her setting. They're just, you know, polka dots for the win. For the win. Can't say it enough. Sonia's. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. That border fabric just sets the tone for everything. It's gorgeous. And then look at all her ribbons up there. So you have to tell us what the ribbons were for. I didn't see, I didn't read the comments to see if anybody asked you. Susan's up close. I have to show you the beach fabric. And look at the ice cream cones. These are avocados at the beach. <laughs> bathing suits. She's got all little pink flamingos. She's got all kinds of things, the life rafts. And then here it is all together. She doesn't have a border, but I just thought the fabric was, she doesn't have a border yet. She's working on it. Um, but I just thought the fabrics were so delightful. Those are beach balls on a sand color fabric on the outside. She said she had a lot of fun playing with her fabrics. And that's what March is about. Um, I didn't do it so much this year, but it's really what I hope to do when we when we have these. So here is Terry's close up. She's got Legos with these adorable children prints, and then here is the whole quilt together. That Lego fabric is just spectacular. Look how fun that is! And we wrap it up with Vicky's gorgeous quilt in the greens and peachy colors. Uh, just so pretty. Thank you, everybody. They turned out so great. And there are many, many more at over at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan at Facebook. So go take a look. And remember to share your rainbow quilt. And if you would, it would be helpful when you share things that I talked about here on the video. If you might say, you know, as Pat asked us to share from her YouTube video today, something like that, because that'll help people know that I actually have the videos. Because believe it or not, there are people who say, I don't know she has videos and they've been in the group like you know three years so somehow you know people don't don't know so that'd be really helpful I uh, appreciate it so I love you Mwah. thank you for being here in the Sloan Zone I will see you online